Well, we've just finished 40 days of prayer and fasting for our nation, for revival and transformation for the nation, but praying specifically for a life breakthrough in our nation. When we first started talking about a life breakthrough, I was actually a bit afraid because I could see the political situation was so against uh, us bringing a life breakthrough in our nation to save the children of Australia, to bring an end to abortion, to bring an end to this terrible movement of death that's pervading our, our land. We're, they're trying to bring in bills for euthanasia, uh, bills to uh, legalise uh, the killing of children. And there didn't seem any way at the time when we first started talking about this last year. But you know something great has happened. We have had a life breakthrough in so much that we have our very first bill that is essentially a, a bill to protect life. Yes, it's a very narrow uh, part of the issue, and the issue, of course, is the killing of little baby girls. We have a terrible situation right across the world where up to 200 million women don't exist because of genocide, because of selective abortion and terrible treatment for women. And of course, this is a, a war against women, it's a war against girls, and we've got to stop this. How do we stop it? Well, Senator John Madigan has brought a bill into the Senate, and it was uh, tabled just a, only a week ago, and that bill uh, will prevent Medicare funding of gender-selected abortion. And it will uh, outlaw the funding through your tax dollars to kill little baby girls or little uh, baby boys. But of course, mostly it's the girls that are discriminated against, and that's very, very sad, isn't it? You know, 92% of people are against gender-selected abortion. That's a recent poll in Tasmania. There was also an extensive study done in Melbourne a couple of years back at a university, and the figure there was 80%. So we know that the majority of people think this is abhorrent, and I believe it's abhorrent, and we've got to make sure we help Senator John Manigan's bill by getting a submission in by the 24th of April. That's Thursday, 24th of April at 5 o'clock. We must have the submissions in, and we've got to flood this committee with submissions. Get your friends to write submissions. Get your church organisations or groups of people or community groups to write a submission. It's very simple. It just has to be a couple of sentences. It has to refer to the bill itself, and it has to refer to the terms of reference of the bill, which, of course, is on the Senate website. Very easy, very important to do, because together we can make a difference. We've prayed for a life breakthrough, and God has given us a wonderful opportunity. And a big thanks to Senator John Madigan from the DLP for this courageous move. But now it's time for us to do something. What does St. Augustine say? We should pray as if everything depends upon God, but we should act as, as everything depends upon us. And now, of course, is the time for action. We've prayed, and God has given us an opportunity. God has given us an opportunity to make a stand for life, and particularly on this issue of gendercide, which, of course, is affecting girls right around the world and unfortunately here in Australia. So let's tell our friends, uh, let's make sure we get uh, as many submissions into the Senate inquiry because then it will be, it'll go around Australia and there'll be public hearings and it'll be shown in the press and this issue has to come to light because our children are important and let's work together for a life breakthrough for the girls of Australia. God bless you. <music>